I'll share the entire screen. That's better, I guess. Okay, fantastic. So we have seen just a revision from yesterday. We have seen what and all. We have seen uh, first arithmetic operator. What are the arithmetic operators, guys? Uh, multiplication, division, addition, uh, subtraction, subtraction, addition, subtraction, multiplication, uh, division. Okay. Uh, and module, module division. Yes, division. Okay. Uh, which one is here? And modulo division. Okay. Just remind. Um, what are the uh, next operators we have seen? Logic, uh, logic operators. Logic. Oh, relation. 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 Yes. Relation operators. Okay. What are relation operators? A big, uh, less, uh, equal. Greater than you should say. Less than. Greater okay. is less than. My English okay. is. Yeah. No issues. Greater uh, than. Uh, uh, greater equal, than equal to. Less than. Equal to. Okay. So. Then what wheels we have? Double equal to is there and not equal to is are also there. Uh -huh. So these are six, all six relation operators. One, six. two, three, four, three, five, four, six. Okay. Six. Uh, then what else we have? Logical. Uh, logical, op uh, logical okay. What is the logical operators? What are the logical operators? And uh, or and or not and very good or, or okay not these are the logical operators very good okay and is used at where and is used at where uh, logical operators yes when when a when and will be satisfied uh, in boole booleans, try or false, true or, okay. or false. Okay, so the condition, if both arguments condition. are true, then uh, the result is uh, true. Correct, right? And uh -huh. Uh -huh. if any one of the argument is false, okay, it then it true. won't be, yeah, it will be false. Okay, our operator, if any one is true, then it entire statement true. is, entire expression is, is true. If any one is false x or y okay then expression is false okay not means if you give true it will return you false if you give false if you it will return you true like if you say um, not single quote without any text then it will return you true or false mm -hmm. it will return true because it was nothing there so false will be returned as true okay so that is what the Boolean operator. Now, sir, in the uh, case sorry, of logical. or case, uh, sir, go ahead. In go the ahead, case of ahead. or case, if yeah. it is true or false, so it would be true only, no? Ah, that is true. Correct. Or and any one one thing false? is. No, no, no. Any first, one, first. any one is true. If either oh. it is X or Y, anything is true, then it will be entire statement is true. If both are false, then it is false. If both are true, then it is true. If one okay. is true, then it is true. True is dominate. Yes. Only one time it will get failed. That is when both are false. R, R, R will get failed only when I give something like uh, uh, empty string R0. But which one it will take to display? What it will be displaying? Now if I give this statement, whether I'll get a single string or uh, I'll get zero as a result. Display. Yeah, which one it will, so which, which one it will display. This one, this, uh, it will display or this one? Uh, display uh, uh, first. First one? No, that yes. is not. Because okay. uh, false. Uh, no, when, when there is, a, if uh -huh. X is true, then it uh -huh. will display the X value. If x is fail, then it will display. If there is x is true, or, uh, y is true or false, it will display y. See? Oh, okay. See, this is. If x is true, like, uh, hello, something, some text is there. If x is true, okay, display then hello. by default, 
one statement if it is true or statement either x is true or y is true if x is true then automatically if y is true or false or anything it will display this if x is false okay then automatically okay whichever the value is there even 100 is also there which is true or zero is there which is false anything is there that will be displayed see even if i have zero okay for our statement x to display x should be true x must be true for our statement if x has to display means x must be true and statement if x has to display means any time x value has to be displayed means it should be failed statement example like this and the statement okay if x is has to be displayed means it should be a failed condition in and if you have any number okay sorry guys if you have any number okay if x is true then it won't display x value at all okay yet for and x must be true for r x must be x to display uh, for and x must be fail for r x must be pass okay see this this is true that's why it is not displayed if it is fail means like uh, if it is uh, false something like that even zero is also false here if if it is there as false if x is fail for understatement when i run it it will display that to display x in and okay x must be failed to display x in r okay to display x as the output in r statement x must be true only two things you remember see both things i'll keep okay r zero okay if here what it is happening i said one statement both are same but both will give different result okay okay print i'll keep it in uh, uh, how i can give okay i'll give it in both different different no no print it will have single quotes right so that is the problem okay if you take this uh, this one has come here this is very wrong i let me take it here i'll put it here now you see this see double quote and i have taken okay double quote is what fail correct right i mean false for and if x is fail it will display okay which Excuse one me, x, x is, is ah. first. what means x is first x, x is the first one wait 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 if x is failed then it should be like this only ah, right? x x ah, okay, okay. Why, ah, it is uh, i haven't run i have run this only okay i have run this only okay at that time so that is the reason okay so if x is fail for and it will display the x value to display this value okay it should be true like some number see if it is fail it is it won't display if it is a false condition it won't display uh siddharth is it clear for you or you want me to explain no no it's clear sir sure okay so uh, so that is the thing so now you have we have uh, finished this uh, uh, this thing as well so let's uh, see some bitwise operator simple uh, uh, it looks almost the same way uh, like uh, logical operators but i want to uh, sometimes it requires for you you won't get uh, this uh, uh, what do you say till logical operators will be working in the real life uh, but not beyond that but sometimes uh, as 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 part of the interview they will uh, ask but sir uh, if x yeah. is true and y is false then it will print x no 
if x is true, true okay and y is false so it will print uh, uh, false only yeah it should right so it's like you have seen empty string and zero so means empty string is you are considering is no 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 true. remember no i'll tell tell one thing for and if x has to be displayed okay it should be failed whatever it is there if x is true okay then no need to worry it will uh, whatever is there in y at, that will display okay for x value to display it should be a false condition for and either zero or empty string it should be if x has to display the x value means it should be a zero or empty string there is no other possibility to display x value 10 is there double quote is there double quote only it will display 10 is there 20 is there 20 is there x value it will never display until unless if it is a false condition see it will display 20 only okay x is true mm -hmm. i have zero okay even though the true value is there or even though if it is a false value is there y value okay x will never display because x will display its value only the time when x value is false for and x should be false okay like i show you now both conditions here the first one is failed the second one is also failed only but now see since x value is false that's the reason x is showing even though you have y value some true value still it will show so anytime you remember when an x value which left side value or right side value or x value or right value what it will display just remember one logic for under operator okay x will display the left side value will display only the time when if it is a zero or empty string means the condition is false for the left side value okay just remember that for r okay the left x value when it will display means in the reverse order it is what it is instead of it is false for and operator it is it should be true for r operator if x is true then only it will display the x if x is false it will never display whatever it is there in the right side whether it is true value or if it is a false value it will display the 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 right side value only the condition when it will display x in r means when it is a true like the same thing i am showing now or whether it is a false condition when it will display means uh, yeah yeah one i'll put some true condition okay or 100 i'll put 1000 okay then i will run it which one it has to display x should x will display on the screen if x value is true it is true or not yes it is so that is the reason you will get this if x is empty string okay if x is empty string if x is false forget about it y value whatever it is there it will display whether it is a zero or hundred or anything it will display that thing okay just remember that correct right because x is fail x is fail for our condition if x is failed whatever it is there in the right side that will display okay so these two things you remember that's it nothing else is there okay so now we are going to go for the bitwise this one is clear right now very clear right yes. Yes. many tests they will give these logics and uh, if you put your mind for this logic then if you apply it easily you can clear it examples like uh, microsoft uh, uh, python sort of system uh, python some programming uh, certification is there people if anyone of among you if you want you can take that uh, it cost some seven thousand or eight thousand i don't know because i have not taken it 
well it is good it is worth only if you have it okay uh, because no side python certifications outside right so that is it. so for that test uh, all these questions they will ask you try to like after some time uh, you try to do some practice test online so you will come to know okay. so we can apply bitwise so bitwise operators okay bitwise operators okay guys bitwise operators now what are all bitwise operators what are first bitwise operators okay um say for example um there is something uh, say um four is there okay if i have to convert it into the binary value what is the method i have to use i have told in the first class pin correct right correct right bin binary correct right okay so a is equal to 4 is a integer integer only but the same integer okay i want to store it in a binary binary value of 4 okay then print b let me check what i'll get i got 100 that is a uh, binary value this is zero value the, so the first if if it is like a, this is a first unit that is zero means like 1 2 4 like that means the value is 4 the last bit is enabled that's why it is 4 if i have 101 means it is 5 if i have 111 means i have 4 plus 1 plus 1 means uh 4 plus 2 plus 1 means 7 it is okay so like that it is okay so now forget about those calculations now four binary value is this okay so these two things will uh, tells us uh, as users that this is a binary value 100 is not integer it is a binary value same way you can create hex and all but uh, we are least bothered example i am just giving hex uh, hexadecimal value so you can create it means just give hex and uh, print uh, c you will get the hex value of that x a 10 value as i said 9 you can write it now normally 10 within uh, two digits like uh, sometimes it requires for you to uh, like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay now i have to represent uh, 10 in uh, what do you say uh, till 15 okay i have to represent uh, 10 in single letter is there any possibility so that's why they came up with something called as hex value like a is 10 b is 12 uh, uh, b is uh, um, uh, 11 C is twelve, uh, B is thirteen, uh, and fourteen. Uh, okay, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, so like this, only fifteen numbers only is there. X means zero to sixteen. Okay, binary means either it might be zero or one. Okay, any any number of okay. so if i have to represent zero i will be giving it as zero if i have to represent one means i will be representing it as one just for your sake any time if someone ask you tell me about the binary thing then you can say if they ask you like two means what you have to do means two means you can represent it as uh, one zero okay uh, if they ask you to represent three means one one if they ask you to represent four means um 1 0 0 because this it will be like a zeroth position first position like that so this it will be zero the first position if you have one means here one it is if your second position is one means it is two if the third position means uh one means it is four if you have fourth position like you will see it now now i have 5 5 means 1 0 1 that is 5 because 4 plus 1 that is 5 okay 
if you want six okay one one zero because two plus four is equal to six then seven okay seven means one zero uh, one 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 because four plus two plus one that is seven if i want eight eight means next one more value you will keep fourth digit will come remaining and all you will get zero okay now nine means simple nine iphone okay nine means just you keep it like this one zero zero one like that is, is this clear how we are getting that value 10 means just one zero one 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 zero one zero like this you just convert it it will come like that okay so now what is the binary value of four yeah convert this i don't want this i will want only now bitwise operators only binary value so four what is the four value one zero zero okay let's run it this one ah uh, okay one zero 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 okay so that is the one zero 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 i have got okay that is the value four okay now i have four is there okay and i have there is something some other number bin of five okay five i got some value okay print c print c okay yeah. if i have got this value okay now what we are going to do first thing you have to remember okay before this is a bitwise operators right bitwise operator first of all you have to remember it can be applied only to the integer and boolean types boolean means zeros ones Okay, boolean bool type okay integer and boolean type okay these are operators are applicable for int and boolean time first okay the operator whatever we are applying bitwise bitwise it's not like uh, what 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 is the bitwise you'll come to know but we by mistake if you apply it for anything uh, float numbers or if you apply it for strings or something it will give you an error okay there is no uh, something so what are the operators we use here just remember and operator this is operator in the symbol um, and okay this is r okay i think this is complement uh, what is it xr where it went here is the keyboard keyboard where it is up where it is keyboard keyboard i don't know where it is it should be yeah it is here this is xr okay and this is complement okay means not kind of thing okay and there is something uh, uh, left shift uh, right shift as i said these are not required for us okay we concentrate on this okay so now let's just see okay now i want to add normal integers 4 plus 5 what is the value you will get you tell me 9 uh, correct right one, 9 one, 9 yes. 9 you will get okay but whereas if you have to Bi add binary means means that some operations you have to do you should have truth table okay what is the truth table this is the truth table yesterday as i said this is a true okay a value you will have b value you will have okay now a and b okay now first if a value is true okay and b value is also true example okay now what you are going to do okay means like uh, whatever you are going to do 
you will when you do this this thing okay you will get some responses output like how you are going to calculate it i have 100 okay and i have 111 okay now if for and operator if both are true if both are true we know some conditions correct right we know some conditions Yeah, take this. Okay. Now, tell me that. Uh, now you tell me the output. First, 0, 1. And means what when you will get that one value. If both should be true, then only you will get one, right? Correct, right? A value and B value. If both are, I say mm -hmm. this is A. Okay. This is A. Okay. This is B. Just remember. Okay. Just remember this thing. What are all these? I'll tell you. This is some 100 is a binary number. 111 is also one binary number. Now what I want is A and B I am trying to do. First what will go is left. Rightmost bit will go and we'll see. And operator when it will get satisfied. You tell me. When both conditions are true, then only it is gives yeah. you true means like hmm. one else it will give you false correct right now what is the first value you have here true. both are one is true and one is false correct right so not satisfied so you will get false okay now here zero one okay both are true and for and to get satisfied in the truth table okay I think uh, you people need some explanation on the board. Give me one second. Let me try to write down everything and uh, explain you guys. I understand. Okay. 101. Uh, yes. 112. Yes. Yes. Yeah, that's okay. Now, truth table we will write A, B, and for and this one. Okay, example I'm giving for any and and operator true a value I will take b value I'll take a and b. Okay, if true true is there, both are true, then it will return you true. You can write true as tt or you can you can write true as one. Correct, right? Anything. A, B, 1, 1, A and B. Consider 1 is true, 0 is false. Okay. If both are true, you will get 1. Okay. If A is false, B is true, then it will give false only because both should be true. If A is true, B is false then also it will give you false if a is false b is false you will get false now i have some number okay like uh, four is four when i convert it into binary i have got it as one zero zero if i have converted into the binary one zero one i have got now I have to do and operation in between hmm, 4 and 5. Okay. Now what it does is it will take it like this 4 like this and 5 like this. And first it will do 1 1. What you will get? Either left side or right side you do. True. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. 0 0. False. False. 0 1. False. False. Because any 1 is false then it is false mm -hmm. only. If both are true, then only it is true for and. Siddharth, is it clear for you or not? And operator. Siddharth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clear, right? Okay. So the same thing, if you do that calculation over here, okay, 4 and 5. So now we have to identify the value of it. What is 100? 
one zero zero means which value you got as an output? Value you got it as four. Correct, right? Correct, right? You got value something as four. Okay. Now I have ten. Ten means what? One, two, three, four. This is ten because eight plus two is ten. Okay. And I have this is. 10 number 10 binary representation if you see binary representation of 10 1010 1, 0, 1, 0. see 1010 1, 0. okay now i have one more value which is uh, 16 okay so what i'll do is i'll put 1 okay 1 1 okay i don't want to confuse you guys 12 i'll put 12 uh, so what i'll do 1 this is 8 plus 4 that is 12 plus 0 0 mm -hmm. okay now 10 12 okay 10 12 means like 10 and 12 10 and 12 what is the value you will get you will see now 1 1 is what 1 1 0 oh. 0 1 1 uh, 1 0 yeah. 0 yeah. 0 0 0 yeah. so what is this value 8 you have got Correct, right? Correct, right? 8. This value is equal to 8. Now, let us see we are getting that value or not. So, this is what we have got. Now, see, print. First, I will do 4, in, 4 and 5. I got 4. Okay, 4 and 5. I got 4 as the value. Okay, see, 4. Correct, right? I got 4 only, right? Value. Guys? Yes. Yeah. If I see, uh, I don't require anything. If I just do that, I got 4. This is, I'm just giving you explanation what is happening when you use and operator. What is happening? That's why I converted into binary and everything. Okay. So, you got 4. Okay. Now, let me, uh, what do you say? Mm, uh, where it is change this to what is the value uh, I told you guys uh, eight eight right okay no something 10 and 12 okay first B as 10 okay this is 12 okay now print print B and C Okay, and 10 and 12. Okay, let us see this. Okay, somewhere I have did some mistake. B, C, unsupported string, string, somewhere I have given string. B and C, okay, numbers only have to give. You have to apply. As I said, right, uh, these are all like uh, now currently in a string format. Correct, right? As I said, if I say print B, B is this thing is in string format as of now. Even though it is integer, it has to represent for us, right? So that is the reason it is in string format. Okay, just remove it. Okay, now you see this. What we have got as output? 8. This is what we have, right? 8. Correct, right? So internally it is converting into binary value. And then it is doing the AND operation. Like AND means if both are true, then only it will return true. Okay. If any one among those is false, it won't give. Then once we can calculate that number back, we will get some value. Okay. So uh, In which now, course we will use these bitwise operators? I, to, be, to, be, to be frank, you will be required only during your network level some calculations like all ip addresses you get right some data so they will they will be in binary format okay they will be converting into binary format ip address values all those things okay so you will be doing some product of it and then trying to get some so usually it is like more of a computer based competition works for uh, some sort of uh, what do you say low level uh, work say if you are a 
kernel level work uh, you are doing for network related modules so that time you will use this okay? okay but it is always important because python means everyone will use it okay if you are working in uh, some companies they will ask you to do some automation development for their own requirement that time at least if you know the concept let's see the feature and then you learn and whatever it has to be applied it you can apply it but the feature you have to learn right so that is the thing okay so let's have that that's the and operator now our truth table we will see now okay our truth table okay so this will now this will remain like this okay a and b and remaining things and all we will remove it now you let me know when um you will get uh, um okay a r b okay what is meant by r any one among those two if it is true then it will give true correct right it will become true correct right now first one one is there what i'll get siddharth 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 what i might get here one one Sir, one. Yeah, perfect. One zero zero one. Zero one would be zero. A R R. This is not and. Any one zero is two. Zero one one will be one one. Yeah. One, yeah. One, one, yeah. Yeah. One. Yeah. Ah, one zero. One one. Okay. Zero zero. Zero. Okay. Now just help me out with this. Okay. I have same four. Is there? What is the value? One. One. Zero zero. One zero zero. This is two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two. Okay. So two to the power of zero is one. one. Correct, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. Two to the power of one means two. Two. Two to the power of two means four. four. If I have to represent, so two to the power of three means eight. Okay. If I have to represent, okay, four means Which and all bit should be uh, uh, enabled? Only one bit. This is four bit should be enabled. Correct, right? Okay. If I have to represent five, okay. So which and all bit should be enabled? Four plus one. Correct, right? Zero, one, zero, one. Correct, right? If I have to represent ten, so which bits should be enabled? One, this one, and this one. Zero, one, zero. Correct, right? If I have to represent. Um, 11 so which and all bit should be uh, uh, i mean enabled 8 plus 2 10 plus 1 11 so 4 is not required so 0 1 1 now you got uh, siddharth how we are uh, putting these values by yeah, yeah yeah yes okay. sir yes sir yeah that much because i know sometimes immediately if i go to this calculation right you will get confused so that is the reason first i have explained basically how we are going to convert then i have represented to the power of because binary means 2 to 2 to the power of binary means 2 okay either 0 or 1 but we will be saying it as 2 2 to the power of 0 is always 1 2 to the power of 1 is always 2 2 to the power of 2 is always 4 2 to the power of 3 is always 8 4 means the fourth bit means this one should be enabled if i want a 10 value means okay 8 eighth bit plus 2 that is one okay in binary anywhere you give bin of 10 you will get this value only okay like this the output to represent for us to show they have this 0b 1010 or 10 this means like binary actually it is a text for us to display in the form of okay so now what i want okay i want something now and operator so now i want 5 i will take okay 5 i have taken 0 1 0 1 okay now i want to take 11 okay 11 what is the 11 1 0 1 1 now i want to do 5 11 now i want to do the uh, 5 or 11 so now i want to do the calculations okay now you tell me 1 1 is what One. Operator, yeah, one. One, one, one. Uh, one. Zero, one. One. One zero. One, one. Zero, one. One. Okay. This is equal to what? 
ओके एट प्लस फोर प्लस टू प्लस वन करेक्ट राइट करेक्ट राइट ऑल बिट्स आर वन करेक्ट राइट व्हेन इट विल बिकम वन 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 मींस वन प्लस टू प्लस फोर प्लस एट एट प्लस फोर इज print Five or eleven? Okay, run it. Hey. Oh, here I gave. I don't know why I gave that. Okay, give it here. What you got? You got fifteen. Correct, right? Uh -huh. Okay. Now, XOR is there. Okay, there is something called as XOR. Uh, uh, Siddharth, it is clear for you right here, bitwise. Yes. And then operator yes. is clear. Okay, super. Correct. Correct. Okay. okay, super. That's what we need. Hadira, it is clear for you as well, right? Yes. 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 Thank you, sir. Very clear. Yeah. Let me delete this, and let me delete this. We have something called as. A, okay. Uh, com A X R B X R. You always remember one thing, okay. If both bits are same, okay. If A, if if okay. I'll tell one thing. If both bits are different, okay. It will result you one. If both bits are same, you will get uh, as zero. Zero. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So if bits are different, then only you will get zero. Uh, then only you will get one. Means it's XR means extraordinary <laughs> kind of thing you take in the sense. If both are different, okay. Now, if you take both are same or not here, A and B are same, right? One one, correct, right? So you will get zero here. Now both are different, right? Zero one, right? So you will get one. one. So no 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 no. Okay, I'll, I'll ah correct. Okay, here also different, right? You will get one. Here one. same. So you will get yeah. zero. Means both should bits should be different to get you the result as true. Okay. Now let's do some something. Now five is there. Okay. Fifteen is there. Let's take five. Zero one zero one. Fifteen means one 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 one. Okay. Now five x r fifteen. Okay. Now both bits are same. What we will get? Zero. Zero. Both are different. We will get one. One. Both are same. same. We will get zero. zero. Both are different. We will get one. one. Okay. So now we will calculate the one zero one zero value. So two to the power of two to the power of two two to the power of four. Okay. So two to the power of four is equal to. Uh, no no two to the power of. Uh, Two to the power of one and two to the power of three. Okay, so this is one. This is two. Okay, two to the power of means two plus eight. That is ten. Okay, one zero one zero one zero one zero is ten. Okay, so the ten is the output. Okay, let us see that whether we got that thing or not. Print. Okay. Now, what what values we have given? Five. Now I'll give like this. A is equal to five. 
b is equal to 15 15 okay now a xr of b and i'm running it what i got 10 that's what i have got right here 10 that much it is not anything anything um what do you say extraordinary or anything okay you need not to uh, what do you say uh, you have to think it in a different way okay there is something uh, say for example a is equal to uh, so this one is clear right this one is clear right how we got huh? yes, yes. both see that yes, for you all okay now now say there is a complement is there okay complement how we can apply the complement bitwise complement is one means zero zero means one okay see let us see um okay now i have five five value is one zero one zero one okay now i have to complement means reverse i have to do so what i what this one will become zero i will turn it on one and one i will turn it on zero okay so what it will become now this one will turn into one correct right one this one zero zero to one one to zero zero correct right now the calculate the value okay it will become 10 correct right am i correct or not Huh? That, I am a character. Uh, for me, correct. Yes, yes. For me, yes. Okay, let us see. This, this might be, I'll be giving you guys as homework. Okay. Just mm -hmm. if in case, if it turns out to be wrong, you have to do something. Okay. Print complement of, okay. Uh, what is the value which I took? Five. Five. Okay. Why I got minus six? Why I got minus? Uh, because uh, five minus ten. Yes. Ah. Uh, okay. No, I I just did complement of five. That's it. I got minus six. What should be the reason? Any idea? Okay, I will give you some clue. Okay. Um, <clears throat> see, uh, what they do here is, okay, they apply the bitwise, uh, this complement, the complementing. Okay. Complementing means, um, usually they will take this, uh the input whatever you got okay and they will be like if it is five okay zero one zero one this is the uh bit value what you have okay what they will do is they will take this value okay and what they are doing is when they complement to this okay if you have five for the first thing you give anything value print of complement of 100 if you see what is the output you'll get you'll see minus one not one one value got incremented and minus has put okay if you see same thing with 50 one okay if you see 256 57 you got it right complement means it will take that thing that value okay and
and adds minus to it okay and shows this okay but if uh, what do you say um, uh, the value whatever it is there the most significant bit will only get into that condition where 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 what is the most significant bit okay if I give this one 5 is here right okay if I have this particular 5 0 1 0 1 okay the most significant bit okay what they will do is zero. okay okay this one one whatever it is there they will be like doing this and they will be adding this part as here, zero one right they will be adding this part as and they will do one's complement that's it here one value will get added extra one but this is called as most significant bit which is turning out to be minus value in by in 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 for the complement whatever bitwise complement they say okay so this might confuse you guys sometimes but all always remember any value you give okay any value you give if you have 500 okay then if you print that you will get minus 501 means you will get one one number whatever the most significant bit okay wherever it is there right it will be having one number will be added to you okay so and the last value will be like one it which represents that is a minus okay just remember that if anything is there just uh, if uh, what do you say if you have some but this is not the case if you have some minus 10 is there that is not the case see this okay it will reduce and become 9 you have you seen this instead of increasing it reduced and become 9 okay just remember that what they are doing they are taking the value if you give 10 they are taking the value okay they are adding most significant bit most significant bit what it represent is it represent negative or positive value they will be adding most significant bit if it is zero they will put one one most significant bit representation is minus okay if nothing is there means if it is already minus 10 if you are giving okay since already it is most significant bit is one then it will be turning it as zero means it will be a positive number so it will be 10 plus 1 they will be adding it okay if you give okay uh, sorry if you give say 10 value as an input as complement if you have to do what it will do is they will add one number and they will add more significant bit as negative so minus 10 it will become if you have minus 10 if you give this what they will do is they will minus one okay from it instead of adding it and they will remove this most significant whichever it is there minus to positive it will become okay so just remember that uh, this is most significant bit what it is this if you have minus it will become positive if it is positive it will become negative okay if you have plus one okay it will get added if you have like this no negative value if you have negative minus value it will add minus one that much you remember okay okay that is the thing okay now uh, there is something called as uh, this is also embedded systems related concept only okay um, 
which is a shift wise operator okay there is some operator because i don't want to miss any thing that is the reason why i am explaining everything uh, uh, even it might be at least basic level you should have some knowledge instead like when you're going through the book uh, they will be giving 100 pages but for telling one single line of uh, thing okay now let us see 10 10 means what okay minus uh, 9 okay first no, uh, minus 11 minus, minus 11 11 no 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 it is over the bitwise thing is over bitwise operators is over okay and oh, okay. Uh, uh yeah then complement is also over okay in bitwise complement also over correct right now we, we are going to left shift and right shift okay hmm? now left to shift we are doing okay left to shift left to shift so 16 how i can represent okay 16 value 16 how i can represent okay now here it is 8 correct right okay now let me represent it okay 2 to the power of 0 2 to the power of 1 2 to the power of 2 2 to the power of 3 2 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 5 2 to the power of 6 2 to the power of 7 okay yeah 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so 2 to the power of 7 okay so it will be 15 2 to the 4 2 to the power of 7 2 into 2 into 2 into 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 8 to the 16 16 to the 32 32 to the 64 64 to the 128 okay so this it will be 128 okay now this it will be what 2 to the power of 0 is 1 2 to the power of 1 2 2 to the power of 4 2 to the power of 3 8 2 to the power of 4 16 i think 16 32 64 128 it is getting doubled right so that is the thing still this is the 128 okay now i am giving 10 example okay because i am giving you bigger value to just to know for anything you can apply how you have to apply this okay now i have to 10 means what it is this is zero 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 uh, this is one correct right 8 plus 2 is 10 correct right this is 1 0 1 0 correct right is this clear now how i got 10 siddharth hatira uh, uh, no i don't know no no 10 8 8 plus 1 8 plus 2 10 and um, 16 plus 2 18 no 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 8 plus 2 is equal to 10 right so these two bits yeah. i have enabled remaining all i kept is 0 if i have to put 2 then what bits i have to enable 2 means only this bit correct right remaining this bit this bit this bit this bit this bit this bit only this bit i will enable correct right this it will become 2 i'm just in 8 see this one Now I have to represent 8 here. So I will enable this bit and this bit. Okay. If I have to represent 2, which bit I will enable? I will enable only this bit. 2. If I have to represent 4, this is 10. This is 2. If I have to represent means what I have to give here. This bit 0. This bit 0. This bit 0. This bit 0. 0. Okay. 2 I have. Uh, say for example 1 I have to represent. 0. 0. Except to first bit. Correct right? That is 1. Okay. Now I have to represent 5. Okay which bit i will enable 
I'll make 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Now, uh, which and all bits I'll enable? 5, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Means 4 plus 1, 5. Got it, right? If I have to represent uh, 180, okay, 180 I have to represent, 180. Here only I will put. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, 180 I have to represent. So, 128. Okay, this bit anyhow we have to represent. 128 plus 64. 128 plus 64 means it will be more than 180. So next I shouldn't select this bit. So next bit I'll select 32. Okay, 128 plus 32. Much this bit I can use. Okay, 128 plus 32. How much? 10. Uh, 5 plus 6. 1. Means 160. Extra how much you need for 180? Another 20. Okay. So this bit I can enable. I can enable this bit. Okay. Then I need still 20. Which bits I can enable? This bit and as well as this bit. Plus plus, uh, this bit. 16. So now what I'll do is another 20, right? So, I will be enabling this bit anyhow because that is uh, 128, okay, and 32 means this one, okay. This bit I will be enabling, okay, and 20 I need extra, correct, right? I need 180 means 160 I have got, so I have to add 20. 20 if I add what bits, I will get 20, 16 bit means this one, okay, this bit and 4 bit means this one okay so remaining all are 0 0 0 okay so 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 0 okay now let us take the shift operator okay now what I'll be doing is shift operator means left shift or right shift okay what they will do is they will move the bits okay if i say left shift means okay these two whatever it is there right two bits okay from this side okay they will move first to two bits means these two bits will be moved towards other side they won't display to you and in place you will get the first bit as zero then one all these things are moved here till here these two will be removed remaining these entire these things will be moved here and at the beginning they will add two zeros at the end add new zeros okay the first whichever it is there even if they have one or something like that they will be left but whatever the values you get here will be new values shift to two okay let us see that Okay, now first this one I have gave you for two reference. Okay, let us see this. Okay, now what I am doing is shift uh, 10 left 2. What is that 10? Okay, this is a 10. Correct, right? So, I have this value. Okay. Then what, how I am represented in 8-bit form, uh, eight format? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Okay. So, 10 how represent 0. 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. 
so what you will do is you have to shift this entire thing two bits towards the left side means these two things will be removed okay means towards left side they when they moved whatever the value they will be they will be gone they will be gone that's it okay so now they are gone so from here whatever the bits you have will be moved to the left side so from here what you have again you make it one two three four five six seven okay now these are gone and this entire part has to be moved towards left side okay now zero zero one zero one zero you have two bits left when you move entire thing to the left side you have two two bits left at the end what you have to fill okay whatever when you do the left shift empty shell uh, cells whatever you have should be filled with zero okay now you did two shift two digits you have shift okay now you got a new value what is that value okay now we'll calculate this okay this one we'll calculate this okay so which and all bits are uh, are there 2 to the power of 0 it is not there 2 to the power of 1 it is not there 2 to the power of 2 not there 2 to the power of 3 it is there so we have to calculate this what is the value 2 to the power of 4 not there 2 to the power of 5 we have calculated this 2 to the power of 6 not there 2 to the power of 7 not there so 2 to the power of 6 means 2 plus 2 into 2 into 2 2 2 is a 4 1 2 3 4 5 okay 2 2 is a 4 4 2 is a 8 8 2 is a 16 16 to 32 32 is a 64 okay i think i have made any mistake here yes i think i have made some mistake huh? It is not 64. I think some mistake I made. 128. This should be 128. Eh? So it is not 64. This is a 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 64. 64, 128, 264. I put extra bit or what? only right okay what should be the value let me check 10 shift to 2 okay let me check 10 left shift 2 bits i have moved okay so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 okay so it will become 1 2 3 Okay, let me see here what I have got. But what is this value? This is 32, right? Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is 32. Okay. Because this third bit is 32. Okay. So 32, let me write it. This is 32 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 8 that is equal to 40 okay now that is 40 value is it clear or not first of all it's very simple left shift it is very simple just you moved the bits all entire bits to the left side two two bits if you have three you can give that also if you want we can do that okay you want me to do three also guys the logic behind this you have got it or not? Siddharth? Uh, shift. It is, it is hard. Shift uh, operators, shift wise operators, hardest than, harder than uh, bit wise operators. No. And we are, we are no, no, no. than the two. No, no, no. That's what. Sim it is very simple. What you have done is, you have taken, say, for example, um, say, I have. 5 is there correct right mm -hmm. 
okay uh, phi how you can represent usually you can represent okay. like this right correct right what is the value of uh, phi uh, one one zero one perfect okay so here three digits you are mentioning but you take like this okay okay one two three four five six seven eight okay uh, just everything is now the value is equal to five only right correct right hmm? mm -hmm. yeah, the value is five that's it but uh, we are in representing a 128 bit format that's it okay so now it is there now i want to shift this to left to shift to two i have to do okay what happens now means first two bits will be removed okay okay and two bits will be added now you tell me what is the value okay now what is the value left side it removed and right side it added but left side whatever it is there it is removed even if it is one is there it is removed okay like one one is there also it is removed but right side it will be added zero 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 only you have to add right side okay now you see what is happened here now what is the value of this if you convert it into entire number what is the binary two to the power of zero two to the power of one two to the power of two correct right this value is there two to the power of three two to the power of four this value is also there okay so two to the power of four plus two to the power of uh, two oh, so what is the value this one is what mm, 16 plus 4 20 yeah 16 plus 4 correct right 20 let us see let us see okay five left to shift two bits i have done i've got 20 as you said that's it got it hatira yes hatira. yes yes that's yes, it I, do you hear me yeah yeah i can so nothing else is there siddhant siddharth is it clear for you or not no is, sir no. okay okay no worries i'll explain you once again very patiently you can just listen to small things okay very very simple way i'll explain okay first i'll explain the rule okay first rule i'll explain okay now you have value as five whatever she said okay 10 how you represent in binary 10 what is the binary value uh, of 10? 10? No, no, no. Uh, let, 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 uh, let uh, uh, Siddharth uh, explain. Siddharth, 10 how we can represent? Sir, 10 we can represent 2 raised to the power 0. Uh, okay, 2 to the power of 1. Like, one. like this we will do. 2 to the power two of two 3. Power four, okay. Three. 4, okay. 5, 6, 7, 8 we will keep just for our sake. This is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. Mm. Anything I have a mistake? 128, 264. Huh? No, something I did mistake. 1, 2, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, not 7, right. 8. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This one is not required. Okay? That one is not required. Okay? means like this much is enough for our understanding okay so now i want to represent which bits and all become one and which bits and all become will become zero if i represent uh, 10 you tell me that zero i'll just put this then we'll put it ah this bit will zero okay superb this one Zero. Super. This one? Zero. Super. This one? Zero. Okay. This one? One. Perfect. This one? Zero. Perfect. This one? One. Okay. This one? Zero. Perfect. Okay. Now, 
this is a binary you are well aware of it no issues okay now 10 two bits i would like to left shift them and get a value as i said this will be done in buffer management related things like when the booting happens all these things in the kernel okay any device boots right during that time left shift right shift they will be using it okay but not like you and me okay but we have to know this so that's why we are learning left shift to why we are going to use it first of all okay sorry how you are going to uh, implement it so left shift 10 10 is the binary value you are trying to shift 10 value two bits to the left side okay now what happens is whatever it is there here last two bits left two bits left shift you are doing okay you are trying to move from this direction two bits aside so whatever the first two bits are there they will be deleted first thing okay they will be deleted okay whether they are ones or zeros or anything they will be deleted shall we delete them huh? and move all these remaining bits to the left first two, two bits i'll de delete remaining things i will shift towards this okay first two, two bits i have deleted okay now what i have i will get okay it will move right left side so first what it will be there when i move first zero. it will come zero. zero correct right and the second position it will calc it will come zero correct right and this position they will come one, one. and next position they will occupy zero and this position they will be occupied by one and this position they will be occupied by zero and still we have two positions correct right even though i move it two positions i have removed means whatever it is there in them i have deleted means when i shifted them i'll have two because i should have eight spaces okay one two three four five six seven and eighth position position is empty okay till here it is clear or not i haven't filled what is there in md but the we have shifted entire entire thing okay to left side okay and last two bits so first two bits i have removed it and i just moved it till here is it clear after shifting that, what will happen after shifting uh, what will happen yeah till till, now till we have shifted correct yes perfect you will just add at the end zeros whatever it is there the empty okay. thing you have now, to add zero now now what is the value okay now what is the value okay so two, two to the power, power of, one to, uh, two uh, to power 32 power 32 correct right two plus plus eight, eight. okay uh, yes, what it will become to 40 40 correct right now we will see that so is what we have got and now, now you got right that 40 only you got the value sir can you go to the paint screen yeah okay i got it perfect that much that is what i'm having little headache that's no problem i know i know i know okay you want uh, me to stop it no no you can continue okay can continue. No, if you want uh, uh, tomorrow See, weather also, condition is like it's weather no so weather yeah, is like yeah. little like this yeah yeah drowsy kind of uh, yeah correct correct yeah. okay. today it is in bangalore it is uh, it is uh, like uh, from last yesterday and day before yesterday i don't really? know no it's not raining that's what uh, it's the sun sh the sunshine it is like uh, yes in baku sun too yeah the same t t temperature is there <laughs> you know yes yes uh, 30 yeah it is somewhere uh, i think uh, it yeah. is 35 our, or something yeah our, our city where the sun is that's why I uh, come very many uh, tourists and from yeah. Pakistan and Hindustan they love our cuisine. Yes, our yes. cuisine same. 
तो हतीरा ये आरे ने न्यूयॉर्क ये हतीरा इसे ने अमेरिका नो 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 आई नॉट सो लाइक नो आर्मेनिया नो नॉट आर्मेनिया नो 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 Yes, okay. uh, there yeah. our enemy, and we have a war. Yeah. Wow. Got it, got it, got it. From where yeah. is she? She's like like next to the Turkey. You have Azerbaijan. Yes, okay. yes. Azerbaijan like, uh, have two part. One big part in the Iran. Iran. Yeah, big yeah, part correct. in the Iran. Yes. So it's 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 an out Kurd Kurd Kurdish region, right? Uh, Kurdish region, Kurdish. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not right. No, no, no. Kurdish region means it is not. Uh, Uh, not doesn't come towards the Syria or anywhere, right? Uh, my English a little bit not let no, me no, understand I'm, you. No, no, no. Is it towards uh, this? Uh, um, what do you say? Some Black Sea or something is there, right? Towards that it is. Ah, uh, uh, Rasa. Uh, no, our people is white. No, no, no. Uh, let, let me, let me, let me tell you. There is uh -huh. uh, Turkey. There is one. Uh, One this uh -huh. thing is there. Turkey too. You have some one more sea is there. Caspian Sea, correct, right? Yes, yes, yes. Caspian Sea. Uh, your, your, yours is near to that. Uh, we are near uh, to Russia, Turkey. Um, yes, that the entire yes. one sea is there, right? Iran. What is that? One oh. sea, yes, one sea. Yeah, And we okay. have problem with sea too because in Caspian Sea have many petrol. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. correct oil, oil. Correct. Yes, yes. Now it is happening it, between Greece and uh, Turkey. Yes, there yes. There is some tension yes, there. Uh, yeah. That's true. Yeah. So there is uh, geopolitically there are a lot of things happening there. Yeah, geopolitical. Yeah. So, okay. Now let's get back. Working days. It is. Uh, it is feasible for you, sir, to keep between twelve to two. Yeah. Is it? We can do it. it. Means working day 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. IST. Oh, we'll do it. One day, when which day you want it? Because Just my say. office starts from three only. Actually, my okay. office starts from three p.m. No, no, no. Three. That's what. Uh, from so next we, week, anyhow. Two to twelve. Twelve to two, it's okay. But tomorrow I have a final round. So tomorrow, okay. so I wouldn't be able it. to make it. But okay. by Tuesday, I'm free then. No issues. That's not a problem at all. So why? I, what? What I will do is, one day we'll keep it on the weekdays. um so that we can finish it so the next week onwards you can be directly join with uh, the other uh, yeah this uh, week batch. you can keep after, after tuesday you can keep between 12 to 2 i am there okay fine okay we'll do that yeah, yeah. see that is a left left shift no issues right okay correct sir uh, now now the right shift after shifting the empty cells okay Yeah, once if you take that uh, um okay oh, how i can say no oh, okay let me move this uh, how we can uh, i just want to write everything now again that's better instead of confusing you guys okay So now you guys only have to tell two to the power of zero, two to the power of one, two to the power of two, two to the power of three, two to the power of four, two to the power of five, two to the power of six, two to the power of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, let me put that eight bits. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now this is one twenty-eight, sixty-four, 
32, 16, 8, 4, 2, 1. Okay. Guys, we will use the same. 10, right shift to 2. Okay. First 10 will represent. What is the 10 representation? 10 representation is 1. 1, 0. 1. Okay. One, now, one. remaining everything, you fill with 0. Okay. Now, this is done. Okay. Now, I have to shift 2 bits to the right side. Means, which and all will get removed irrespective of anything? This one. Correct, right? This one and this one. 2 bits will be removed. And move everything to the right side. Right shift means from the left side, I am moving the bits to the right side. Okay. Whether I have 1 or 1, 1 or 0, 1 or anything, I least bothered, I will be removing them. Then now I am moving it. Okay. Now what I will get? I will get like this. So I have to fill this. Now this one, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. So 0 bit will get filled over here. Okay. Got it. Okay. And 1 bit will come here. Okay. 0 will come here. Okay. 0 will come here. 1, I mean 0 will come here. 0 will come here. Okay. Now, remember this guys very carefully. If you have, once if you move, again these two bits got emptied, right? These two, earlier for right shift, these two bits got emptied, we will filled with what? Zeros. Correct, right? Here, okay, the numbers, whatever it is, the number, whatever you have given, okay, it will be positive number if you have given okay for uh, if it is positive number if you are given okay you will be filling it with zeros okay if you have given negative numbers if you have given minus 10 and did right shift okay then what you will be doing is you will be filling with ones okay but 10 we have given Okay, positive. Let us see what is the value we will get. Positive number only we have given, right? So, what is this number? What is the output we have got? 10. What? Huh? Minus 10. No, 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 no. no. Forget about this thing. This is the output what we got. 10 output shift to 2. 2. 2. Perfect. 2. Correct, right? Because everything is 0. When we moved, only 1 is here. That's it. Hatira, uh -huh. when we removed these two and when we moved all these bits, we have only one one. This one, it is moved till here. Correct, right? We shifted to the right side. Earlier, we shifted to the left side. Now, we removed the first right side two bits and we moved towards this. Okay. So, we got two as the output. Okay. Now, I go here and I'll enter. Then right shift two. Okay, two we have got as output. Two we have got as an output. Hatira, Hatira. Yes. You yes, got Hatira. any confusion? Yeah, you got uh, yes. confusion. Yes, yes, sir. It is clear or confusion? Uh, a little bit clear. But it okay. is enough for me. It is enough okay, for me. you just okay, just go through it. Okay, so this is a, a ten right shift two is this one. If I have minus ten, okay, right shift two. See what I'll get. Minus three. Okay, because. What you are going to do is, okay, you are going to put last significant bit, okay, with what? With 
what you will be adding as i said one i mean like with the one one something they will be adding some negative bits something you will get it as uh, you know right complementing you will do what is the two complement you know that right complement is what you will be adding one and you will put negative value means what you will do is you will be adding one to this one. and you will be putting minus okay, okay? like that then it will become three and it will become minus value if you have then it will become minus three because two plus one it will become three if you have minus if you have minus minus means you will be doing one's complement extra one you will be adding to output then two you will get it will become three and you will put minus however it is okay that is the reason how you got this so this much it is not required but you remember that how you got usually you will get two okay if you have minus two minus two means you will get two then shift two it will get two but before it gives you an output two first it will add two one it will get added that is three once complement we say then it will become three okay then after getting three then it will put minus as it is okay minus three it will become see minus three it will become okay that's it so that is uh, if you have minus else it will shift means normal you, the calculation remove it and uh, once after moving it uh, left side whatever you have everything you convert it into zeros that's it if you have negative number just add one value extra to it and assign negative one answer that's it okay that's it so this is called as arithmetic operators sorry <laughs> this is called as uh, shift operators okay just remember that okay now can we have any other operators yes we have assignment operators okay very simple okay the following things which i am going to show you are available but like um like if you take x is equal to 10 okay this is called as an operator as well this is called as assignment operator we can use this assignment operator to assign a value to the variable okay example x is equal to 10 we can combine assignment operators with some other operators to form compound assignments like example x is equal to x plus 10 example x is equal to x plus 10 okay now what we can do is this is one example we have this you can represent as x plus is equal to 10 this is nothing but x is equal to x plus 10 itself okay so you have different compound uh, assignments we can do like uh, as i said uh, x is equal to x minus 10 if it is there if it is there like this okay hmm? then how this example i'll tell you example a is equal to x is equal to 10 you have something okay then you will say that x is equal to new value you want new x value you want what you want x minus 10 okay x minus 5 means you should get some output okay print x okay just see this what you will get output you got 5 the same statement if you want you can write it x minus is equal to x minus is equal to 5 also you can write okay that and this both are same okay that and this both are same see how you got you got the same output as 5 there is no difference 
okay this is called as compound statement means like instead of putting x is equal to x plus 5 x minus is equal to 5 both are same this is also the same x is equal to x minus 5 is also same there is no difference okay now there is also you can do like multiplication if you want like this you can just change minus to multiplication if you want division you can do division just if you want this statement to be written you can write it like this okay all remaining like r and x is equal to x and 5 all these all operators you can make it compound not an issue okay just to remember that for your understanding i just said you have compound operators hmm? okay so that is the thing now let us see some uh, simple program uh, now till now we are uh, uh, what do you say we have discussed about uh, some uh, so many things right uh, we will see some other things okay if there is something called as ternary operators okay what is meant by ter ternary operator okay example i'll give if a is equal to a comma b is there example i'm giving okay ternary operator for syntax i will show you it is uh, like conditions how you write okay conditional operator conditional operator ternary operator or conditional operator syntax is okay you can assign okay you can assign is expression to the variable expression like some if condition or something like that to the variable itself so with with small some condition here first value okay if condition else condition you can check like this okay we will see that example okay now for example a comma b you have that is equal to 10 comma 20 anything two values you have these are a is equal to 10 b is equal to 10 that's what see print a see you will get what just see print those are not list or anything <laughs> remember okay see 10 comma 20 a b okay now what you are going to do in ternary operator means x is equal to x value okay become to becomes 30 becomes 30 if if in condition okay a value is less than b else if it is not there then it will become x value 40 so what should be the value of x you are based on the values what you are going to get you are deciding okay just to see this now print x okay just to see this okay got it now x value is what 10 value y value is 20 a 10 is less than 20 correct right Ah, yes, yes. Okay. 30 if A 10 less than B. Why it is? Else. Yes. Ah, that's what. Else 40. So now I got. Now what I'll do is I'll give this as 100. Okay. Now the condition is failed, right? 100 is less than 20? No. Correct, right? So else whatever the value is there, that has to get assigned to x now correct right let us see correct right so this is called as ternary operator you are using condition first value okay what value you are going to assign based on the condition else the other value we will see some other examples as well okay simple way we'll see okay 
there is some functions are there okay say a is equal to siddharth just try to uh, what do you say try to understand if you are not understanding just let me know hmm? int mm. input first let us enter input is the function which is used for us used by us like a is equal to input okay enter the value if you want to receive any values from the keyboard okay through keyboard like every time till now what we are giving we are giving the values from us from our side in the program itself but see this this one okay see it is it lasts for you to enter 10 Guys, give me a minute. Give me a minute. Guys, give me a minute. I'll be back. Some, my, uh, I'm getting a call. Okay. Ah, uh, guys, I'm back. Okay, so if you see this, okay, a is equal to input. Enter the value, whatever I've given. It will ask me to enter. I can enter it. Now the value a is ten. But which type is it? Okay, input you are giving. But what I want to know, print. type of a i want to know what type is see anything you give as an input okay print type of a why man something biscuit okay print a i'll just give ah connection has lost Guys, you are there or not? Ah, uh, hello. Yeah, yeah, we are there. We are there. Okay. We are there. I, I am doubting okay. myself. Okay, okay. See, I will take this. I will copy this, and I will try to put it over here and run this. Yeah. Okay. Now I am getting ten. Okay. I am getting some value. What I want is I want to know the type of Okay. Okay. Run it. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, some error. Nothing is coming. Is it uh, because of uh, some issue or what? See something. It is coming. Okay. Let me close these things and rerun them. I have. Yeah. let me open that hopefully this should resolve us okay type of a okay let me run them 10 what is the value even though i have given number but it is storing as string mm. correct right is it useful for us no this value is not useful for us we need integer so what we have to do is we have to convert it into int correct right you can the input whatever you give you convert it into int now you see this i will give 100 what is the type it is now integer type so int function you have used 
in for the input value whatever you are giving input you have to give the first then on top of that you are receiving that in the form of integer okay now it is entire thing is converted without any issue okay is it clear till till clear is it clear or not yeah. because we are going to do some ternary operator thing by receiving the data in from the key keyboard which how it will be more useful that's what i am that's the reason so input thing it is clear right input we give input from the keyboard okay now same thing what i'll do is i'll remove this okay and i'll take uh, and i'll give b okay two values okay enter the value a enter the value b okay now then what i'll do is minimum is equal to okay i want to know the less value a if okay x is less than okay x is less than okay <laughs> a is less than b print a if it is less than b give me the value you assign value of a to minimum if a less than b else okay huh? assign which value assign value is b okay now you see this print min it is dynamic now it is not like what values i give i give 1000 as a okay and i give 100 as b now what is the condition here a greater b. a a less b. than b a less than b but 1000 is less than b false right so it will go to the else condition b. so b is which value 100 correct right so minimum value will be automatically coming for us as 100 oh, see again it went off i'll take this control c some connection issue connection means not uh, this thing internet but uh, anaconda connection issue okay now i'll run this okay first value thousand connection gone so it is not active looks to be it, python got fever i guess okay see this one siddharth hello siddharth looks like uh, yeah 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 i can yeah some some something but i what i would request is use this example okay and try to create some your own uh, what do you say ternary operator means for a value to assign if the condition is true then the first value will be considered if the condition is false the second value else value will be considered that is what it is called as ternary operator or conditional operator okay so is equal to with some condition is nothing but conditional operator or ternary operator you can write a number of things you can have like uh, else else if all these things also you can write it maybe we can see it uh, in, in some i mean like i'll give uh, uh, like what kind of things and all now i am not able to give that but did you get the ternary operator the main objective or not how we are going to use the ternary operator got it right yes yeah Good see path. if you have to write in the as a program the same thing it requires how you will write you know you will go here okay if uh, okay uh, a is uh, less than uh, b okay and then uh, print 
R I N T print I A. Okay, then we'll go here else. Okay, uh, sorry, else print print uh, B like this. So how many lines of code is there here now? One, two, three, four, five, six lines. Six. But you, six lines, correct, right? But if I have okay use uh, terminary operator here itself huh? okay a if a less than b else okay b what does this mean now how many lines only three lines how many lines of code you reduced you reduced three lines of code means half the program you have reduced Correct, right? Instruction waiting in and all those things. If you consider within three lines of code, you have written the program. Okay, so that is the advantage. There are operators where you can use. Okay, now um, there is something called as uh, uh, special operators are there. Okay, A is B. Okay, what are all those special operators? Is A is and is not. Okay. Are called as identity operators. They are called as I special operators. Are there? One is identity identity operator. Okay, means like whether whether something. Okay, now if ten is there. Okay, ten is there. Um, A is equal to ten is there. Okay, B is equal to ten is there. Okay, two items are there. Okay, B is equal to ten is there. Okay, if A and B are pointing to the same object or not to identify this we use is operator okay to identify this we use is operator okay example let me open this launch there is some disconnection happened looks like god guys so uh, what is the time 11:30 okay let us uh, finish the operator so that as i said uh, uh, membership operator is there it is also very simple is or is not is uh, identity operator and membership operators i can show you guys that uh, not required this um, i can show you here also python python and let me see oh god See, this is a problem. Okay. A is no, this is not yet uh, working. Let me close this and uh, run this once again. Kernel starting, please ready. Kernel is ready. A is equal to 10. B is equal to 10. Okay. A <coughs> ID of printer. ID of A. Okay. Just remember that. Print ID of B. Okay. Now what I am trying to do is, if 
okay a is p okay what i am take checking is the memory of location of a and b are same or not i i want to check for that i can use is operator is okay means object a object a and object b are referring to the same object or not like a and b are referring to the same object or not it can be achieved using is it will return whether true or false for us okay now let us see till which numbers we will get the same object guys if we have same assignment till 256 right before okay now you see correct right yes yeah yeah if i have some both are different numbers only means different objects correct right both are different objects see false both are 257 257 both are referring to the same object no because till 256 before only it will be there i think 256 will also be won't be there 0 to 255 only 0 to 255 only ah uh, 256 is there 0 to 256 okay from 257 onwards it will be referred to the different object okay okay so that is the reason why we have this okay if you take hello Uh, shit. And if you take this as hello, okay, both will refer to the same object. But if we have hello world, a sentence is there. Even though both are identical, but they are storing in different. are referring to different objects so to know whether the both objects are referring to the same both um, uh, values or variables are referring to the same object okay uh, both are referring to the same a and b are referring to the same object or not we use is operator okay okay now is not means just reverse of it if it is returning false means it will return true now that's it means just to false mm -hmm. it's inverts that whatever you are getting okay it is nothing else whatever the result is there it will be inverted that's it if i have like say hello is what? is operator uh, for id yes ah yes whether they are is... whether both are referring to the same object or not Uh, okay. okay okay uh -huh. siddharth is it clear they actually both are referring to the same object but the you, you will get true that will be inverted is not means false you will get true will be reverse is what false false you will get that's it it is nothing else is usually it returns true right for you okay is not means like just you are telling what is the reverse of it is not what true i am getting you know it will get false okay whatever the result will be inverted true to false false to true okay that's it siddharth is it clear for you identity operator is it clear for you siddharth you are there siddharth okay then next to what we have is it siddharth mm -hmm. is there yeah he is there Uh, okay next we have membership operator what is the membership operator this is the identity operator identity operator is and is not is are identity operator there is something called as is and is not are membership operator there is something called as identity this is identity operator there is something called as membership operator these are identity operator both are referring to the same id or not okay 
membership operator is simple you remember okay uh, a is hello b is